I'm uh, George Matthew. I work at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and um, I study turbulence in the atmosphere. We're going to be looking at some of the simulations I, I did with Daniel Chang, who is now at the University of uh, Melbourne in Australia. Uh, these simulations uh, investigate two main forces in the atmosphere. One is, uh, is shear, uh, which occurs when the upper layers of the atmosphere are moving faster than the lower, and stratification, uh, which occurs when you have um, lighter fluid sitting on top of heavier fluid. These uh, two forces, shear and stratification, they are often competing um, in the atmosphere and the ocean. So we created a series of simulations to study this competition. So turbulence is a, it's a very challenging problem, mainly because it includes many scales, large and small eddies, all interacting with each other. So we created this series of simulations, uh, which uh, will carried out at the Pleiades supercomputing at NASA Ames. We had to use uh, the big supercomputer so that we can capture uh, all this uh, diverse range of scales that occurs in, uh, in a turbulent environment. This is a series of uh, movies uh, that uh, we created from uh, the simulations. We're going to look at the, the first movie. In this case, the role of stratification is, is very weak. So this is essentially a turbulent flow that is dominated by shear. As you can see in this animation, the top of the fluid is moving fast and to the right, whereas the bottom appears to be almost stationary. So what we're looking at are density fluctuations. This is like, you know, like uh, what you get when you pour like milk in your coffee. You see the milk being homogenized with your coffee and become like one homogeneous substance in the end. So yeah, in this particular one, the, the action of the effect of stratification is very, very weak. The next one, um, now we have increased stratification and two effects that are different from the previous one. The first is that you notice that the, the shear increases a little bit. You can see that the, the top of the, the fluid now is moving faster than previously. And the other thing is because stratification has this um, effect of suppressing vertical motions, you see that the, the structures, the, the, the largest turbulent eddies, um, are now shallower. They don't cover the whole of the vertical extent of the image. But um, as we increase the stratification, we expect those to become more constrained in the vertical, to become shallower. Okay, now what we have here is we go and increase stratification a little bit further. So again, the shear increases a little bit. Uh, stratification and shear are two competing forces. So if you increase one, you have to increase the other to uh, get to the same balance in the end. Again, like before, stratification increases and this leads to an increase in shear. And now the, the vertical extent of the turbulent eddies is even smaller than the previous cases. One of the important things in these simulations is that as you can see, compared to the previous ones, the, the rate of homogenization or the rate of mixing of the fluid is much, much less than the previous cases. You can see that the layers are merely sliding on top of each other, and you can see like very little mixing between the, the bright colors and the dark colors. So this is, uh, this is the, the, the last case, essentially. This is the opposite of the, the case where we had just shear and very little stratification. So in this case, stratification is so strong that turbulence cannot survive. And as you can see in the animation, turbulence is extinguished in most of our simulation and turbulence can only survive into, into these layers. So this state of very high stratification is usually the, the state that most of the atmosphere and ocean is. So to give you an example, uh, if when, when you're flying, uh, most of the flight can be very quiescent and smooth, but then suddenly, like in these movies, you can hit one of these layers where the atmosphere is very turbulent and things become uh, kind of uh, shaky. This is like the, the atmosphere, right? It's, kind of, it's the same effect. So the, this is why we, we do these simulations. We, we try to reproduce what is going on in, uh, in reality on the computer so that we can study what is going on in detail.